What's up guys? This will be the real start, I guess, to tearing the car apart. I got the, uh, whatchamacallit, catch can under the trans, about to drain the trans fluid. Um, I'm just nervous to see um, if we're going to see metal bits in there, like what, what are we going to see here? Um, we're going to drain uh, oil, trans, and coolant as best we can here. and. Uh, I don't know, I probably won't start today on pulling the front end off, but I want to at least get the fluids out. Oh, as soon as I get off to work work tomorrow, be motivated, get all that front end shit off, get the intake off, battery out, um, AC condenser, radiator, intercooler, um, intake, what else, maybe the catch can, a couple other random things, um, and you know, wrap up the turbo, get some zip ties and some plastic over some shit and whatnot. But, Anyway, quit rambling. Let's empty this uh, trans fluid. Nervous. If you guys don't remember uh, from the last video, starting to see here, I was just cruising on the highway, cruise control set at like 77. I was like maybe 10, 15% throttle, passing a semi, and then the car felt like someone just jumped on the brakes. Motor shut off. I think the trans is what happened because it locked up. I, I clutched in, motor died, lost power steering. Power brakes, had to yank it to the side of the road, and yeah, so it's either clutch or transmission related because the motor starts and runs fine as long as I have the clutch in. As soon as I let the clutch out, even in neutral, it dies immediately. So here we go. All right, hopefully, this doesn't make too much of a mess and get on my camera. This is the last thing I'm trying to deal with. This fluid smells so bad. Oh yeah, holy shit. Oh my god, look at that. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh no. Oh no. That is crazy. Holy shit, look at my fingers. That is all, where is the camera at? No, uh, look at that. That is all metal. That is terrifying. Oh my god. Damn. Well, boys, this is what we're dealing with. <laughs> it doesn't even look like this. Looks like a planet. Like a like you're looking at some planet from the sky. That's crazy. Yeah, that's all. Uh, that's all metal. It's supposed to be like yellow. I don't think the camera shows um, really, but yeah, that's it's all metal. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. Well, I just hit up Billy Amberg. He's got a built trans with dog gears three to six with uh, LSD on it as well, limited slip differential. So hopefully he gets back to me and I can get that ordered. Damn. That really sucks. I mean, I wanted to build a trans anyway, you know, and I, I really just wanted the car to last throughout the race season, but uh, yeah, yeah, you can see some of the normal color over there. That's how it's supposed to be. And this shit's like, like thickish too, like with all that metal. I wonder if I can get a, a magnet over here and get it to do things. This is actually, this is actually kind of interesting. I can get the magnet super close, and then it just, it makes these little circles. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Wow. <laughs> Chitty. Ah, don't get demonetized. Oil looks good though. It's brown. Ish, about a thousand miles, two thousand miles. I don't know. Oh, it looks good though. Happy with that. Well, guys, ain't too much more I'm doing today. Pulled the dog bone mount out. Still looks good. Shout out to 034. Um, in the last video you guys saw, I deleted the uh, bumper he headlight washers, and where this connects in the back off the pump, I'm gonna cap it and zip tie this there so I can get rid of this. This harness, a couple, a couple more ounces out of the front end of the car. 
Then I'm going to maybe start training the radiator, I guess. Go from here. This is going to be a mess, though. All right, so I know the underside of my car looks like ass. It's all oily and shit. I have the uh, bottom timing cover here. It's been leaking for a very long time. So, like a little bit of oil. Everything's dirty. But uh, just a little quick disconnect there. I threw a nipple on with a zip tie. And then it'll rotate back to where it was before. Boom. And... Now there's no more headlight washer stuff to deal with. Man, this car is dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Probably gonna need some tires soon too. Ugh. A lot of work ahead of us. Stay tuned though, it's gonna be fun. Hopefully no more, uh... No more broken shit. <laughs> Looks like we, uh, got another dead bird here. It's, uh... It's cool. <laughs> Well guys, the plan today was to get that front end off. I want to get the intercooler and all that stuff off, but let me show you something real quick. If it would focus, it is 37 degrees out and tomorrow's high isn't much better at 58. It's nasty right now. I don't know what's going on, but uh, it ain't great and I'm not a fan. I work outside, I work on aircraft, I work on uh, drones actually guys. You can look it up, the MQ-9 Reaper. Um, now, anybody new here, I am like a legitimate mechanic, but for aircraft, for airplanes, not cars, but I do like all the work myself, clearly. Um, anyway, there's going to be some clips in the beginning of this, which I guess you already saw, so never mind, but hopefully I don't get demonetized. I know there's some music in some of these clips, but next video you'll see, we'll be ripping off the front end, um, hopefully I have the cherry picker by then and be getting the motor out. I mean, there isn't really all that much keeping it in there, just some hoses and some wiring, unclip all the things, undo all the hoses, motor mounts, yank that baby out, so, um, yeah, just need to, we'll be, we'll be starting on that, so, stay tuned for the next one, um, the trans I wanted to buy is actually sold, so I'm looking to team up with another guy who wants to get his trans built, and both of us send our shit there, and maybe get a little bit of a discount for buying all the gears and, um, what you call it? Synchros and all that shit at the same time. So, anyway, we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. Um, keep an eye on the Instagram. I, I post stuff there before you guys see it on here. Uh, Br thirty two yce, and uh, that's all I got. Question, comments, concerns? Drop them down below, and I'll catch you on the flip flop. Might be one of the only videos I take today, but uh, here we are. It's exciting. Car just kind of shut off. I was passing the semi. Car felt like the brakes locked up. Um, the motor shut off, so I got over the side of the road as quick as I can. Almost got smashed by a big old dually that was behind me. It was crazy. And I had to get to the left shoulder because I was, I was like almost past the semi that was in the right lane. And then the car shut off so anyway so I sat on that side of the road for probably an hour and a half then a cop came and uh, offered to try and move me to the other side of the highway where there was a lot more space so I hopped out put the tow hook on police officer moved to the other side and then called insurance right told them where I was exit 177 well they fat fingered it told this guy 277 so I wound up waiting like forever for him to get here um yeah, shout out to to them but uh here we are maybe it's the clutch maybe it's tran transmission as a whole i don't know um it'll only go into like third and fourth gear with the car off uh you start the car car starts fine revs fine but uh it, no matter how high you rev it and let off the clutch it just dies it just stops and dies so we will further investigate. We're going to get the car up on jack stands. I'm going to go buy a, a rent, a motor stand, and a cherry picker. We're going to pull the motor in the trans, build the motor, fix whatever's wrong with the trans, or we'll replace it, or we'll replace the clutch, whatever. Uh, Verkline rear subframe just got shipped today. So, I guess the next month will be exciting. Lots of spending money and crying. So, 
Yep. Well, while we wait for Eric, I set up a nice little uh, shade station here so I can uh, sit here and play some Call of Duty. I got the, the 9 mil ready just to get shot to no man's like This is like the best beef jerky in the world. Uh, yeet! I guess uh, when I get back, I'm going to pull these seats out. Probably to pull out these back door panels and uh, start selling things to fund. People I'm talking to are saying it's more than likely the clutch that failed, like the pressure plate or something. And uh, yeah, but I'll just pull the whole thing. We'll just build the motor, pull all the money out of savings, get all that done, and then uh, deploy again to fix my savings. Geek. Juice World on the radio, bro.